Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope your Sunday is going good. Well, today is my first day back from vacation. Yes, you heard that right. Every episode that you have seen on here since Tuesday has been taped on Tuesday or Wednesday morning. So, the Wednesday through Saturday episodes plus the uh, race review video for tonight or, I'm sorry, the race preview video that you've seen a couple days ago, not the race review video, but the race preview video. So Tuesday through yesterday, all were either taped on Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on when I had time for everything. And, of course, I hope that I kept the days correlated, but I've been known to mess that up. So anyway, today's video is a flea market finds video, and I'm missing a couple bags. No, I'm not. Anyway, uh, my wife and I went to the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge Sevierville area of Tennessee for about four days of just rest, relaxation, get away from the world. And of course, a couple of those days you're going through shops. And yesterday as we come back, there was four or five flea markets and antique stores that we wanted to stop at. So I'll show you those here in just a second. Um, but anyway, one of the stores, if you're familiar with Pigeon Forge, there's a destination there called The Island. And there's a lot of uh, touristy type stores themed stores, arcades, you name it, it's, they have a little bit of something for everybody, so, so anyway, I picked up some Funko Pops, and I'm trying to get them out of the bag here, I wasn't prepared, so I apologize for that, but I think it's, uh, gonna be worth the background noise in the few minutes of wait here, so anyway, they had a, a sports store down there on the island, and I got a few of these figurines down there and really liked it. First one is legendary uh, Chicago Bears player. Don't ask me to name the position because I will screw it up. But uh, Walter Payton, so there's a nice view of Mr. Payton. Next up, y'all know I like my Reds and I like my Cardinals. So hey, got Mr. Redlegs. The uh, mascot of the Reds, one of the many mascots that they have. Next up, some will argue the greatest player in baseball today, Mr. Mike Trout. Thought this was a nice addition. It's the last one on the shelf, so I thought, well, I better snatch it up before somebody else does. And last but not least, certainly, Mr. Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. So very, very nice. Four awesome Funko Pops. Paid regular retail for those. Uh, the rest of this stuff is going to be mostly NASCAR. I've got a few other oddball things here. I did get another box of, and of course the lid's ripped off of it, of 92 Black Max. So I'll have more details regarding our break in a few days. Um, I was going to get more of the, the factory sealed boxes off of Steel City Collectibles, but apparently I bought the last one or somebody else wiped them out after I bought one. So anyway, we've got some boxes there. So I've got two full boxes. And then I do have a box of 91 Pro Set. It's about halfway, two-thirds the way full. And then it has about seven or eight packs of 92 Black Max. I'd like to do a break with some of this stuff, but I'll figure that out. Again, I'm still learning this, so bear with me. Did pick up, and I really haven't had a chance to go through it, but it's like a 600 or 800 count box of baseball cards. So that'll be one that we'll go through here sometime. And I'm not even going to set it on the back there because it doesn't even fit on the screen. Seeing that, it was like 7 bucks or something. I thought, <coughs> um, it's not going to hurt me. So I'm going to pick that up. Um, in Gatlinburg, there's a little store called Paws and Claws. And it's a, it's a store for pets, but uh, they had these boxes that they had full of cards. You know, the guy told me that the cards in these were reprints. I don't know. We'll find out when we open those. We'll get there. Pick up this. A few of you will like this. 143rd scale Jeff Gordon Baby Ruth Ford. Packages, uh in reasonably great shape considering that it's probably been in many hands over the years as these have been many of these have been never seen this before so i picked it up by matchbox super stockers I believe this is also 143rd scale davy allison flip it over on the back you see you can get dale earnhardt davy allison and ernie irvin 
And the Earnhardt signature is the only one that's even remotely close to their real signatures. Or stamps, as Ernie seems to do for everyone. Next up is a 1994 Racing Champions Premier Wally Dallenbach Jr. Of course, <coughs> Wally was driving for Richard Petty in 94. He is the first driver to race the number 43 after Richard retired. Wally was released following the Watkins Glen race in 1994. John Andretti took over the car for the remainder of the season, and I was at qualifying for the first race after Wally was released. John Andretti put the car on the outside front row to a standing ovation. It was an amazing qualifying run. Next up, a couple of older RCCA, or Racing Collectibles Club of America, diecast 164th, got a Bush Series car of Kenny Wallace. Nice Dirt Devil Pontiac. I believe they did run Chevys a few times that year as well. And this is a, a legendary series. There are 16 cars in this series. 1962 Pontiac, Johnny Allen. Very nice looking car. Really like the uh, contours of the cars, the body lines and all that sort of thing. Then I have a 164 scale Dale Earnhardt. Very nice. Uh, who is this by... Um, action. So, good wrench plus. Big plus on the hood. Another nice addition to the collection there. And it's kind of funny, I picked this up at random, and I was looking, I've been looking for this on eBay. 1991 Winner's Choice, 120 card set. I will do a review video on this. Because there are some really, really nice cars and drivers in here that you guys need to see. So I think you guys will enjoy that video when we get to it. Got a couple more Jeff Gordon cars. Lifetime Series, a Sprint car. We'll zoom in there so you can see that. Number six, probably a midget. And then the winged Sprint car, number 16. And there you see Jeff on the track, 1985 Pro Debut Sprint Car. So very cool. I was very happy to pick those up. Then again, uh, one of the stores, the store that I got the big 600-count uh, box, they had these Ziploc bags full of cards, $2 each. Figured we'd try our luck and see what we'll pull out of those. So got quite a bit to go through there. Anytime you're out of town, there's always a Walmart nearby. Of course, you're, you go in to pick up something maybe that you forgot to pack or you didn't have room to pack or just any last-minute items. Well, of course, die-cast or last-minute items. I did pick up a few of the 2020 Wave 9s. So then you have the Tyler Reddick with the Jeff Burton 1995 Rebestus throwback. Very cool. Then we have this Ryan Blaney. I can't remember where he ran that paint job at. I don't think it's a throwback, but... One of his body armor paint jobs. I like the Kobe body armor paint job that he ran last year. Not a Jimmy Johnson fan, but I did like the split. I didn't like the paint job, but I like the reasoning behind the split paint job. Of course, there you see the ally uh, in the STP font and logo style with the 48 in the style of the 43 that Richard would run with the white lettering and the drop shadow. Then the 48 with the italicized just like uh, Dale's number three was, with the Do It Right in the Good Wrench font, as well with the Good Wrench trim on the bottom, and the Petty blue and the STP red on the top. And then the last one was a John Andretti throwback of Daniel Hemrick, Xfinity Series last year. This would have been the 1996 throwback. I believe Andretti ran this in late 95 as well, but mostly in 96. Um... Just per It was the uh, Kmart Little Caesars Ford that John ran, and late, later Jeremy Mayfield after they swapped rides <coughs> in Richmond. Now the rest of these are individual cards that I'm going to move some of these out of the way so I have room to maneuver. But I picked up some uh, cards at a, at a vendor at a flea market. He had some nice, nice deals. So some of these I had, some of these I didn't have. I just wanted to you know, add a little bit there, so I got a nice Gordon there. Got the blue parallel from Ignite. Of course, you've seen me open a ton of that here on the channel. Then 
Apparently I grabbed this one. I've got a ton of this one. I don't know why I grabbed it for. I guess I thought it was something special. I know I needed this one. I've got card number two. Or this is card number two. I've got card number three. I've got the one where Dale Jr.'s right here. Work on that set. Picked up a couple of these from 97 Ultra, but these are the Shoney's edition. I didn't did not have any of those. Have to get those sleeved up. Then from uh, Press Pass, I'm not sure what year this is, don't really care, but the Press Pass Legends, Legendary Leaders, Dale Earnhardt, nice looking card there. The picture's probably from 1979 or 1980. Then we have a Kevin Harvick American Dream insert. Really like this one, a Davy Allison inside scoop. Of course, uh, you see it's Terry Labonte on the card. Davy Allison, Davy Allison won the IROC Championship in 1993 posthumously, as he was killed in July of '93. The final IROC race was in August. Terry was asked to take his place and ran well enough to secure Davy the championship. We have a Dale Earnhardt Jr. fight card from 2010 Wheels Main Event. Then picked up a couple of these Neil Bonnet cards. Didn't have it. I know it's the same one, but uh, don't think I had this one. If I do, then I got two more now. Getting into some of these uh, Press Pass Legends. Rusty Wallace. So there's his uh, championship winning Kodiak Pontiac. Jerry Cook, modified champion. Have uh, Fred Lorenzen, the first NASCAR driver to win over a hundred thousand dollars in earnings in a single season. Picked up a Brian Scott rookie, so I have to put this over there in my rookie stack. I just seen that in this random box that he had, and I, I recognized it as a rookie, and I was like, "That's coming home with me." Got a nice Brickyard 1995 pole sitter. I was at the track for this when Jeff won the pole. Of course, the crowd went crazy for that. By the numbers. I believe this is a retail edition by the numbers W. I believe that means Walmart edition because there's the base insert set and then there's a Walmart and I think there might be a Target exclusive. And this is why I wanted to have room. So we have another Jeff Gordon Blue Parallel from Ignite 2012. Got a nice uh, Dale Earnhardt. And this one's the preview for that classic set, so I don't have that one. Next up is another, and it's sticking together here. I'll get it off to the side. There we go. Inside Scoop, who is that? Richard, says Richard Petty, but that doesn't make any sense because that's Joe Weatherly. I'm sorry, that's Junior Johnson, says Richard Petty. I'm not sure what's going on there, but may, oh, it's probably because he was driving in relief of a junior. Bobby Allison. Looks like that photo is probably from 1986, maybe 87, Hall of Famer. Then we have, by the numbers, Tim Flock, one of the three racing Flock brothers. Of course, Ethel Mobley, their sister, also raced. We have a nice insert here, and I didn't see that crease till maybe that's on the, on the uh, holder here. Well, looks like it might be on the card. Well, nonetheless, still a cool insert of the king. Mark Martin, driver's premier year, 1981. And of course, you see it's numbered a 45 out of 250. Showman, or show car, Rusty Wallace, the other half is showman. I couldn't believe I seen this card in, in, in this will be relatively insignificant to everybody that I found a Patrick Donahue card. The significance of this is I broke this set a couple of years ago because Patrick was a crew chief on one of Bobby Dodder's Xfinity teams, and it just so happened I seen it in the box yesterday, and I was like, I need that to recomplete my set again of 98 Press Pass, so I'm going to set that one off to the side so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Again, we have more Shonies. Jeff Gordon didn't have that one, so that one will get added to the ever-growing collection. Don Garlitz, legendary drag racer. Trophy Room, 
Daryl Waltrip. I've seen all these Legends inserts, and it was like, well, they may or may not be inserts, but I don't have them, and they're just really super cool cards. So we have featuring Racing's Best, Terry Levante, 1978, but that picture's from 1986. How can I tell that's from 86? Because it's an Oldsmobile, and the only year Terry Labonte ran the 44 as an Oldsmobile was 1986. Then we have Ernie Irvin. This was during his comeback in 1995 when he drove three races in the 88 car. Next up is Richard Childress during his days as a driver. Now a car owner. And this final card, and this will be the final thing that I show you guys today. Got to get this all cleaned up and ready to go for tomorrow. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. But of course, later today we will have a review video at, after the end of the Las Vegas race. It probably won't be immediately following because I don't know what my whereabouts are going to be this afternoon. But I'm going to try to watch the race this evening and get you a follow-up review video. Hopefully by 10, 11 o'clock, at least at a decent hour. But this last card that I got, I seen it in the case that the guy had there at the flea market. The same one that I just got all these wonderful cards that I showed you. And from 19, let me make sure I got the year right on this. And it's numbered 293 out of 1,200. Um, can't read it, but I'm pretty sure it's 97. Randy Dorton, first bite, race sharks. Shark Tooth Signature. Only paid $5 for this card, so I was super stoked about that. I'm going to get it in a better holder. I don't like these holders that have all the color on it. There you see 293 out of 1,200. Of course, Randy was one of 10 people that perished in that tragic Hendrick Motorsports plane crash. I believe it was 2004? It's been a long time, and I really can't remember the exact year, but the plane was en route to Martinsville. Of course, took the life of Randy Dorton, John Hendrick, Rick Hendrick's brother, uh, Ricky Hendrick, Rick Hendrick's son, and John's two nieces. I believe Tony Stewart's pilot. There, there was Again, there was ten people in all. I don't remember each individual that was lost that day, but a horrible tragedy in the NASCAR, uh, you know, during during that time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Flea Market Finds video. Didn't mean for it to be so long, but there was a, a lot of ground to cover, a lot to do really quickly. I'll, I'll hopefully have some more information later this week about the break that I want to do and how I want to do it. And I'll, I'll, I've got a few people I need to reach out to first before I make any sort of uh, video, but uh, appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad to be back from vacation. I'm not glad to be back, but I am. The vacation was very relaxing, very exciting, very fun. I, I can't recommend a lot. There, there, there's so much to do down in that area of the country. If you get a chance, I highly recommend it. So I'm, I'm recharged, I'm refreshed, I'm ready to go, I feel good. So uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say, what your favorite part of this video was. I, I know some of you guys will probably have some interest in some of this stuff, so... Uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes, the subs, the comments. Keep them all coming. I really, really do appreciate it. So enjoy the race today. Look forward for my race review video tonight. And we will see you tonight and tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.